men or women, black or white, rich or poor. Everyone is equal in the eyes of the law. But only some matrices are equal in the eyes of mathematics. Let's see which ones. Whenever you are comparing two matrices and want to check if they are equal, you only need to consider two conditions that must be fulfilled. The first condition is that their order should be the same. We have covered the order of a matrix in our previous lesson. It is the number of rows by the number of columns in a matrix. The second condition says that the corresponding numbers of the matrices should be equal. By corresponding numbers, I mean the numbers at similar positions in each matrix. Let's discuss some examples to understand this further. Here, you can see matrices A and B. If you note matrix B, you can actually solve the numbers in it. 2 plus 1 becomes 3 and 4 minus 2 becomes 2. With 3 and 2 as the entries, you can now compare matrix B with matrix A easily. Both the matrices have 2 rows and 2 columns. Therefore, the order is 2 by 2 for both. Since the orders of matrices A and B are equal, therefore, condition number 1 is satisfied. Move on to the second condition and look at the corresponding numbers. They are also equal. 1 is equal to 1, 3 is equal to 3, and so on. Condition 2 also holds true here. And if both the conditions are fulfilled, we can confidently say that matrix A and matrix B are equal matrices. Let's discuss another set of matrices L and M. When we start to compare them, we check for two conditions. In this example too, the order is 2 by 2 for each matrix. Condition 1, check. Moving on to the corresponding entries. They look similar at first glance, but let's look at them closely. 2 is equal to 2. 3 is equal to 3. Negative 1 is equal to negative 1. So far, so good. But what about this one? The bottom left corners? 2 and negative 2? Are they equal? Of course not. Because of this, condition 2 cannot be satisfied. And even if one condition doesn't hold true, we say that the matrices are not equal. We'll look at one final example. Look at matrices P and Q. They're clearly unequal matrices since the order of matrix P is 2 by 2, while the order of matrix Q is 2 by 3. Let's do a quick summary. We understand the conditions necessary for matrices to be equal. There are only two. We look for the order of the two matrices, and we look at their corresponding entries. If they are the same, the matrices are equal. Simple as that. I hope you had fun learning these new concepts. There is a lot more to be learned about matrices. Keep following us and I will see you in the next lesson.